Hey folks, welcome back to GT Garage. Um, made a little bit of progress the last few days to the uh, to the camper. Um, if you are interested in what's happening here, it's going to turn into a off-road camper. Um, look at my other videos on the GT Garage YouTube to see what's happening. Um, or in videos prior to this one but yeah this one just going through what I've done so far so um, as you can see tailgate and the um, the drawbar gate off they slid off easily and spent a couple of hours just carefully cutting the sides off so when they build these trailers it's one folded piece for the floor and the sides and the um the top edge you can see over here over there. um it's actually like it's really solid bit of gear um and i thought of um um grinding off the stitch welds on the floor and doing a another floor because it is a bit rusty on it, but it's just surface rust. So I think I might just rust convert it and then wrap the liner under there. Um, but yeah, cut the edges off, or the sides off as you can see. Um, just with the grinder. Got off all the bars and everything. So that, that guard is still attached. This guard though has been taken off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can see that gap there, I was going to add 25mm, pump the guards outwards, 25mm, because I'm going to change the offset for the wheels, which is going to push the wheels out 25mm each side. So I was going to go 25mm, but now that I've seen it, I'm actually probably going to add 30mm to the inside of the guard, because it'll still have clearance. So my rationale here is let's just say I had a problem with one of my wheels and I had to put on standard offset wheel which is what's on there right now 30 mil will still have clearance and it won't rub on the inner guard and it still allows for for articulation etc um, but the main reason my dog again Um, sorry, distracted. The main reason was um, in my uh, rooftop tent up there. The sleeping area in there is approximately 1220 or something wide, which is what my, you know, my wife and I comfortably height wise in there. For the, like for the length of it, but what I'm focusing on is width. 1220 width. It's cozy, but we could do with a little bit more room. Now this is about the same for the um, standard tub or the floor that's on there right now. Is I think it's about 1200 ish. Twelve forty-ish. Oh, probably closer to twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. So it's like a fraction wider than my rooftop tent. Now we can cope with that. That's fine. It's comfortable. But um, since I'm at this point here, what I'm thinking of doing is adding another sixty mil between tubs by just moving the wheel tub 30 mil on each side and that should free us up just a little bit more space in there it should just make it a little bit more comfy so that's where we're going at the moment um i did think of putting a false floor and actually putting the bed height like right up there the height of the guards 
I don't just mean that. The bed will be like over you know, 300 mil higher than that floor. So, yeah, at the moment, I'm just going to move the guards and um, I'm going to plan that. There'll be like, obviously a false floor just above this existing floor and then mattress goes on top of that but if it's going to be too narrow I might put another well I'll put, might put the false floor up so it clears those guards because I mean the external walls of it are going to be out here that's where external walls are and that's an extra like 350 so might just put the bed up higher. Hmm. We'll see how we go. I'm gonna tack the so I'm just gonna put a um, 30 by 30 um, steel tube, a square tube, sorry, in there to take up that 30 mil, then tack that into place, and then the different offset wheels them out should sit flush or close to sorry and then I'm actually just gonna line there and see what it's like and it's not too bad believe it because I prefer the uh, obviously the center of gravity to be lower now if I have the bed 300 mil higher than it than the base is now it just raises the center of gravity but what it means is that I can have underfloor storage so yeah anyway that's where we're at right now probably dropped a, yeah, they're about 20 25 kilos each those pieces over there but i'll use that steel in here somewhere to fill up these gaps probably so i have to add a little bit of 50 here bring it down to the guard and then back in fun time um so interested in more of this build please like and subscribe and then you can keep tra uh, traps tabs is what I'm trying to say of what's going on and hopefully in a couple of weeks we have a completed camper all right that's all for now